The Canadian convoy got some new recruits from French Canada and decided to go to Parliament Hill. Once there, they complained that it's a police state because there are so many police around. Then a massive Palestine protest showed up and they immediately shifted from saying it's a police state to wishing they had so many people so they could overwhelm the police. They had massive size envy about the other protests, lots of anger that people would join that movement but won't join their freedom fighters. They seemed very beaten down as they realized that the French Canadian group wasn't actually hundreds like they were promised. Now they did get some new members but they're probably gone after the weekend, at least most of them. And this weekend, they got completely overshadowed by the protests behind me. This might be the real last reinforcement boost for a while. I really don't know where they'll get another influx to come from. They've angered the native population, from my understanding. And of course, soon people are going to be making things like Christmas plans. Cold weather will make it limiting and people aren't going to want to go. But then, in America, there was also a... Palestinian protest, a pro-Palestine protest, and a member of the Freedom Corner who was also in the convoy decided to go to the protest. Now, they raged about being called a Karen, complained to the police, uh, started talking to a pro-Palestine protester about how it's hate speech and slander to be called a Karen, and how people make fun of their little J6 fan club on the corner. The chat was raging about how a pro-Palestine protest is actually worse than January 6th and calling it an insurrection. Which is extra funny because this member of the Freedom Corner protest was there in support of Palestine. So they were actually insulting her the entire time whether they realized it or not. But I'm sure if they were directly called out for it, they go, oh no, we meant the brown people. I assume that's what that chat would say. I have to assume that. I've seen too much of their chats in the past and the things that go through them, especially when people that aren't white don't agree with them. Now, everything I saw so far at this point at title recording was 100% peaceful for both protests. And it's absolutely enraging the far right. I'm seeing it in chat rooms. I'm seeing it on Twitter. I'm seeing it on restreams basically demanding their needs to be violence. They want the police to go after these people for some reason. They want to find any reason to go after these people. But so far today in the U.S. and Canada, they're disappointed. 